whistle chain system. Stranglehold has received a message from the IKRV, very hot, that they are experiencing some trouble with the inhabitants there. Since we are the nearest military vessel, we have been sent to aid in the subjugation of this race, as per the standing orders of the High Council. As a member of Imperial Intelligence, it is important for me to ensure that this vessel best serves the Empire and completes its mission. How long before we reach the contested sector? It should be about 20 telecams before we reach the Hurric Hop. Engineer, do you think that you could manage to squeeze a bit more power from the engines? I am working on it, but I cannot get any more power. I'm still cleaning up after the last chief engineer. A science vessel. Why would the Empire send a science vessel into a first contact mission? Commander, sometimes it is better to use stealth over force during an encounter. Did I ask for your opinion, Bookworm? <laughs> that phrased the question. Therefore, I gave you an answer. No, I was thinking out loud. You, however, just annoyed me. Commander. I would have thought that right after a year you would have gotten used to me. Have you ever gotten used to an irritating rash? <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Commander, I'm having trouble with the systems. The board parts are conflicting with the Klingon parts. If I were in command, I would have had that board trash ripped out and jettisoned a long time ago. The Admiral believes he can make them work together. He is part Borg as well, and is prone to malfunctions himself. Sergeant 
I do not know what you are talking about. Where is your cushion? I am a warrior and have no need for such luxuries. That is not what I have heard. <laughs> Enough! I do not need a cushion. <laughs> You left this in the mess hall. <laughs> so how you managed to sneak this thing around without anyone seeing is beyond me. Again, that is not my cushion. <laughs> uh, give it to me and I will find out who this belongs to. <laughs> Doctor, are you able to read? Acquire any of that medicine I had ordered. The supply ship that was to deliver it was diverted to another area of the Empire. Was it important? You have no idea. We have arrived, and the herd hat is hailing us. Have their captain beam over to our ship so that we can compare notes. I'd like to thank you for this. Cardassian listening device you placed in my quarters. It was amusing, but I had to disable it. I don't believe you to be the weak bookworm. You make everyone think you are, Ensign. What makes you say that? Your knowledge of everything surrounding the destruction of Sentinus Three. The drugs you just asked the doctor for are the same medicines used by the Obsidian Order for suppressing memories. And you were able to dismantle a Cardassian listening device. <laughs> a most amusing tale. Worthy of a former member of Cardassia's Obsidian Order. Still, you have no proof that I am nothing more than a bubbling ensign. Oh, you're right. Before I forget, I had to dismantle your Tholian listening device. <laughs> the glass mechanisms are difficult, but not impossible to work with. <laughs> of course it would be the stranglehold that would come to our aid. Lucky for you, we happen to be in the area. What is the situation? We have investigated the third planet. We have encountered a race called the Hakawi. They are a primitive race with only the ability for Warp One technology. So why does the Empire wish to conquer this people? According to our scans, there's nothing remarkable about the planet, although there is evidence of a pure strain of dilithium. Strange. It is as if I have heard of these people before. <laughs> Many small vessels bearing down on us coming from the planet. How many? Scans show approximately 200. Furthermore, the vessels are preparing to fire. This is ridiculous. They do not stand a chance against our weapons. Since they are only capable of warp one, we can easily outmaneuver them. Hard to port! Do. 
If one rock punches our hull, our air will leak out. But if several rocks punch our hull, we will have explosive decompression. And if that were to happen, you would all have to come to sick bay. <laughs> And I just keep dodging their ships. We don't look like cowards. We need to show strength. Or are you too afraid to do that? Obviously, First Officer, you have no concept of adventure. <laughs> Jeff Bay Klingon Po! A Klingon does not surrender. Ha 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 ha! Headshots! May you die before you are captured! Why did you say that? <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> it just seemed like it'd be shit said. I had not heard that since I took the house of Lashar. For the aid of Kator. <clears throat> Daji! The ships are firing! Red alert! Sound effect not working! I'm switching the backup system! <laughs> 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 Decision. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's nothing to be accomplished here. We will not attack such a weak people. And that is not the correct decision. <laughs> Excuse me! You fail to see the predicament that you have placed yourself in this crew by failing to follow Imperial orders. Therefore, by the powers granted me by Chancellor Martok, I am taking command of the Stranglehold. You have no right, Frank! Only the first officer can take command of this ship by killing his superior if he is weak. That is correct. You are only a mere answer and have no right to challenge God Jan. This is no ordinary challenge. I am with Imperial Intelligence. In times when the commander of a vessel fails to follow Imperial orders, I can seize that vessel. So you were planted here to spy on me. Is that it? <laughs> Your past actions have required it. You have been known to change orders to suit your needs. I have never suffered from my past decision. <clears throat> he was even put on trial for dishonor and found not guilty. It was a plot by that Cardassian. You must have been looking at the ship's logs again, Commander. You pull up that piece of history. I do not remember reading about it. It just seems to be in my mind. <laughs> but I, for one, refuse to follow the orders of a lowly inside. As do I. Following you would be like going down to that dealer's room downstairs looking for a hologram for my three sons. <laughs> For the purposes of Imperial Intelligence, I outrank anyone here on board. And you will follow my orders, or you will die. <laughs> the choice is yours. Cheer up. This is what we have always wanted. A Klingon ship, which is more honorable. And what are your orders? Lock the Hakawi in the brig. They need not see what we will do to their planet. We must warn you, to attack our planet will be your destruction! No, Admiral. You will relinquish control of the Stranglehold to me. There is no honor in attacking a weaker people! <laughs> the honor will come by subjugating another planet under the glorious control of the Klingon Empire. You may have what it takes to be a great spy, but that is not enough to command a battle cruiser. Considering <laughs> the history of this vessel, I do not think it should be that hard. Now, target the remaining Hakawi fleet. Ah! We are losing power to the weapon system. What is the meaning of this? Get those weapons back online. I am unable to. There's a command override to prevent me from doing so. And who would do such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> I think I now understand the meaning of Dajan Lurpa, the hedge judge. May you die before you are captured. I shut down the weapons. <laughs> Why would you do that? It seemed like the thing to do. <laughs> and besides, I felt like following this in talk would have the same consequences as eating Baltex chili cheese guck. <laughs> Commander, you could never have known Baltex. He was sent to the Nemesis Station years ago. That is what is so confusing, old man. I see that jolly, food-devouring Klingon in my mind. And I do not know why. Congratulations, Commander. Kator. What? What did you call me? That is impossible. My father was killed. Or at least the Romulan who betrayed him was. Oh. My real father was never found! <laughs> oh, he was alive. Captured by the Romulan seven years ago. They had him heavily sedated so they could plant their sleeper agent aboard the stranglehold. He should have died. A Klingon lives with shame if he were captured. 
alive. Actually, it was a very prominent Klingon house which aided in his capture. And besides, dishonor would only come if you were captured in battle. Fortunately for you, that house has since been destroyed by the very Romulans they were aiding. But how did he get away? And why does he not remember who he is? Obviously, he's been altered by Imperial intelligence. The process isn't hard. The Obsidian Order was doing it for years. <laughs> and with much greater success. That was why you needed those drugs, to suppress his memories. You are correct. We had him altered to suit our needs. We wanted to see what the Rhymes had planned for their agent. When Karg killed the false Kator, you have the altered one placed aboard the stranglehold. So I was to be a spy? <laughs> Do not flatter yourself, Commander. From what I have seen in this vessel, practically everyone on board is a spy or a part of some major household. Except the Admiral, of course. Take this tarp dropping to the brig until I can figure out what to do with him. You will see me again. I will try to contain my excitement. Why did you not just kill him? Because he is with Imperial Intelligence. If you kill one, you are dragged before the High Council to explain your actions. I'll go to the brig to interrogate our prisoner. So is it true? Is this my father? Have the doctor report to the bridge so that she can run a scan on him. I must ask you a question. How is it you know so much about Septimus III? We had our agents planted on Cardassia Prime for quite some time now. And we used that information to our benefit. What use is it to you now? You've lost. I still know about the remaining family of yours on Septimus Three, And whether they live or die depends on what happens next. Lost? I think not. Some Klingon honor for this! 
<laughs> Please don't insult me, Adam. I only wanted to stop him so I could get some information out of him. Oh, uh, that I am sure. Why have I been summoned to the bridge? We need to see if Commander Baraka is really Commander Kator. I am a doctor, not a sideshow magician. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think he is Kator? Quagmar said he was. The bookworm ensign who just fought up two guards in the hallway and escaped. Oh, he was completely truthful at telling the truth. Quit your complaining, Doctor. I need to know which is true. Doctor, simply use your medical tricorder and scan him. Back off, scientist. I am a professional. <laughs> Cranial ridges have been altered, and there are traces of a mind-altering drug in his system. By Kalis! This is Kator. <laughs> Father, it is you. If you are my daughter, you have grown. <laughs> you were much shorter. I was, seven years ago. Father, there is so much I need to tell you. Doctor, take Kahansis and Kator down to sick bay so that they can get reacquainted and that you can return them to normal. Wait, wait. Are you the same doctor that the crew refers to when they say never go to sick bay under any circumstances? <laughs> I would prefer to stay here. You will go to sick bay and you will like it. <laughs> and as for you, Cardassian, you need to go to sick bay as well so I can treat that wound. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather not have to subject myself to your witch doctor techniques of stone knives and bear skins. Then today is your lucky day. I now have new items to help me practice medicine better. We now have old magazines in the waiting room for you to read while you wait. Rashwi, <laughs> what of the Kaui plan? Have the prisoners returned to the bridge. Are we continuing with the attack? No, we are not. So you are going against orders again. This is necessary. Uh, I curse the Ferengi Hadeba who taught us in to these security budget cuts. <laughs> Returning you to your ship, and we will not attack. We congratulate you on your wisdom. We can take this planet and its source of dilithium. Why are you doing this? Because this is species 389.5. The planet they are defending so well happens to be a highly unstable explosive. The people are merely the pin within the grenade. How do you know this? It did not show up on our scans. Because the Borg had tried to assimilate it and found it irrelevant. A bomb of that magnitude not only would destroy their ship, but the surrounding system as well. And you need to come to sick bay so I can turn off those nanoprobes. So that's it then? We just leave a bomb on the Empire's back door? I am certain the Chancellor would agree. And besides, no Klingon would want the honor of conquering a planet with the name the Hakawi have given it. Which is? Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> Ashwi, there's a small crab approaching the planet, and the Hakawi are leading it through. Finally, they have arrived. Who has arrived? Ship's markings indicate it belongs to the diplomatic corps of Eva and Merkin. That is all we need. I require nothing further from the stranglehold. I will return to my ship. Sergeant Major, when Captain Hogwas and the Hakawi return to their ships, set a course for anywhere but here. Warp factor three. 
Very well! <laughs> After many years, the Yenting Line is mine again! This adventure of the IKV Stranglehold has come to an end, but there will be further adventures. If you wish to learn about these adventures, then contact our Admiral. Will you stay put? <laughs> then you're over there. <laughs> then contact our Admiral, Kahan Dead. You will have approximately 10 minutes for pictures, videos, and hollow vids. Now, 